Welcome to the Dalhousie Library's tutorial on conducting literature searches in the Medline database through the Ovid platform, also known as Ovid Medline. In this video, we will cover why you should include Ovid Medline in your searching, how to run a search in Ovid Medline that incorporates subject headings and keywords, reviewing your results and adjusting display settings, and exporting articles and saving your searches. First of all, why should we use Ovid Medline in our searching? Medline is managed by the National Library of Medicine, and it includes curated literature pertaining to biomedicine, including allied health and the biological or physical sciences, as well as records pertaining to the humanities and information management within the healthcare field. Medline includes over 5,000 journals from around the globe, with content dating back to the late 1800s. You may be familiar with resources like PubMed, Embase, and Scopus. Medline content can also be found in those platforms, particularly PubMed, which is the public Medline search engine. However, in a comprehensive literature search, it may be best to search Medline through Ovid to take advantage of some advanced search functions such as wildcards and proximity operators. For more information on this, check out our video on truncation, wildcards, and proximity operators in the description below. In combination with searching other databases, these strategies will ensure more comprehensive retrieval of evidence related to your topic. Let's get ready to run our search in Ovid Medline. You can find Ovid Medline through the Dalhousie Library's website at https colon forward slash forward slash dal.ca.libguides.com slash Ovid Medline. From on campus or logged in using your Dalhousie NetID and password when off campus, you can begin building your search and running it. For our search, we are looking for articles that discuss Tai Chi as a treatment method for all types of arthritis. In Ovid Medline, you can begin your search by finding the appropriate subject heading for your search concept. Subject headings are standardized terms used to identify the contents of an article. Most articles in Medline have subject headings assigned to them, and including them in your search increases the chances of finding relevant articles, like hashtags in a social media post. Subject headings in Medline are known as MeSH, and we will begin our search by finding the appropriate MeSH term for our first concept. In the search box, enter Tai Chi, then make sure the checkbox below the search bar, which says Map Term to Subject Heading, is selected. Then click Search. If there is a corresponding MeSH term, you will see it listed. In this case, Medline refers to Tai Chi as Tai Chi, which shows us that it is good to use MeSH terms, so we are accounting for variations of the same search concept. From here, click the small icon under the Scope Note heading to verify the definition for this term according to Medline. Our scope note confirms that this term is relevant to our definition used in our research question, so we can click the back button in our web browser. Now click the term itself, then scroll down to find it listed within the hierarchy of other MeSH terms. The MeSH term for Tai G falls under the broader heading of mind-body therapies. If your search question actually encompasses multiple types of therapies in this category, you can choose to search the broader term and all the narrower terms under it by clicking the checkbox to the right of Mind Body Therapies under the Explode column. Or you can just search Tai Chi on its own to keep results focused to that particular type of practice. Exploding a term simply means that you are not only searching for the term you selected, all the terms that fall underneath it. If you choose to search it on its own, click the checkbox to the left of the term. Then scroll up to the top of the screen and click Continue. On the next screen, we have options for subheadings. If you want to retrieve literature on Tai Chi and any of these listed subheadings, such as adverse effects, nursing, or more, you can go ahead and click one or more of these. However, it is not necessary to choose subheadings, and choosing subheadings will reduce the number of results in your search. In our search, we are combining Tai Chi with arthritis and want all results so we will not select any of these subheadings and will proceed to our results screen by clicking Continue. Our search results show that we have just run a search for the subject heading for Tai Chi. Now, we will combine that term with a couple of keywords to make the search even more comprehensive. In the search box, enter the keywords Tai Chi or Tai G, and this time you will unclick the checkbox that says Map Term to Subject Heading. Now click Search. 
We have just instructed Ovid Medline to search for the different spellings of Tai Chi, and the dot .mp in your results indicates that Ovid Medline searched these keywords in all fields, including title, abstract, journal name, and so on. This may be sufficient for your search, but if you are given too many irrelevant results, try using dot .ti, .ab, .kf after your keywords to limit the search to the title, abstract, or keyword fields in Ovid Medline's records. To combine the MeSH term and keywords for our Tai Chi concept, we can now click the checkboxes to the left of each search we have just completed. Now we will click OR beside the text that says Combine With, and we have our final set of results for the first concept in our research question, which is Tai Chi. Shown here on the screen, we have repeated these steps for our second term, Arthritis. As with our Tai Chi search, we began by finding the subject heading for Arthritis, which is listed in our search history as EXP Arthritis Slash. The EXP in front of the term was not in our Tai G subject heading, because the Arthritis subject heading had narrower terms for the different types of arthritis, and including all of those types is relevant to our research question. In the next line below the Arthritis subject heading, we have searched A-R-T-H-R-I-T asterisk, once again, we have instructed Ovid Medline to find our keyword in all fields, and the asterisk that we have placed at the end of the keyword replaces any variation in word endings. So we are capturing articles that say arthritis, but also arthritic. Finally, we see on the last line of our search history that we have combined the subject heading and keyword for arthritis using OR. To put both concepts of Tai Chi and arthritis together, Click the checkbox to the left of the lines for the combined subject heading and keywords for each search concept. In this example, that will be line 3 as well as line 6. Once you have clicked the checkboxes, click AND beside Combine With. We now have our final set of results from this search. To view our results, you can scroll down through the list to see the papers that have come up using your search. By clicking the Abstract button below the title of an article, you can read the included abstract and determine if a paper is relevant. You can also adjust your view settings using the three buttons above the first result, and you can elect to specify how many results are shown on the page. The filters on the left side of the screen can offer you additional options for narrowing your results, and the Get It at Dal button to the right of each article title will take you to the library catalog where you can access the full text article. If you wish to return to your search and fully view the lines that are no longer visible, click Expand on the right side of the screen and all lines will be visible. Finally, to export your results into a citation manager, first click the checkboxes beside articles of interest. Click All to export all results or enter a specific range, such as 1 to 25 for the first 25 papers only. Then click Export and select RIS under Format. Click Complete Reference from the Fields menu and leave the other options as they are. Then click Export to receive your RIS file that can be uploaded into your citation or review management software. If you'd prefer to hold on to articles within Ovid Medline and not export them, you can do so by clicking the checkbox beside an article of interest, then click plus sign My Projects, and add the paper to an existing project in your account. You can also create a new project on the spot and add it there. To save searches in your personal account in Ovid Medline, first click My Account in the top right corner of the screen. Then you can log in with your account or click Create Account to make a new one. While you are accessing the database through your Dalhousie NetID credentials, you will have to create a personal account with Ovid Medline to save your results and noteworthy articles, and may use any username and password you like. Be sure to keep track of these to access the account in the future. Once you have an account and are logged into Ovid Medline, from your search results screen, click the checkbox beside the search you wish to save, then click Save. Give the search a name and type from the drop down menu, then click Save. You can retrieve this search later by clicking My Workspace from the search results screen in Ovid Medline, then My Searches and Alerts. Thanks for watching! For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.